History is a road map, I think, and it illuminates our, our path to the future. The power of history is by taking our individual stories and seeing them in the context of our larger story, people come to have a greater sense of ownership in their community, in their time, in their state, and their city. And I think that's extremely powerful. Everybody has their stories to tell, and that's what's so neat about history. The Wisconsin Historical Society is the preeminent keeper of our story. Without the society, we would not have the materials with which to tell all these stories. We are an organization that collects, preserves, and shares stories. It's as simple and, and as complicated as that. I think whether people are amateur genealogists or have even just a, sort of a, a Sunday interest in history, Wisconsinites uh, would benefit from knowing more about what their society has to offer. The Society's collections um, are the tangible evidence we have of the lives that people led in the past here in Wisconsin and in many parts of the United States as well. They're the things people made, the houses that they lived in, the documents that they created in which they recorded their hopes and their dreams and their thoughts and what they had done in their lives. So they connect us in a very immediate and authentic way with the past. Historic sites are important because they bring people face to face with the evidence of the past. History comes to life for them when they can actually see that evidence and when they can actually stand in the place that history happened. That's what makes these experiences relevant for people. I always talk about people because I think that's what makes it click. That's the magic to, I believe, my business. Well, same thing is true with the Wisconsin Historical Society. The people there, the passion they have, the love for what they do, it is just so apparent. Whether it be a building or a Native American mound, a shipwreck, a park, any of those resources, we help people tell those stories both through the National Register program and the other types of outreach work that we do in our division. The Wisconsin Historical Society has the advantage of having been in business since 1846, and that means that we have one of the largest collections of American history, not just Wisconsin history, in the country. The photo collection here is fabulous. Um, movies, I mean, it has collections of all the major movie studios. It has the Vietnam War government records, the protest groups and the women's movement, the Hispanic, Chicano uh, struggles, the Native American Red Power, the African American Black Civil Rights documents, those are all here. Our historic sites, our museum, our library and archives function very much the way uh, public libraries do. We are a public institution that, that serves literally everybody with an interest in history. I think history helps us both uh, as individuals and collectively form a sense of who we are and um, give us a perspective on moving into the future. And I love to see students get passionate about it. The Wisconsin Historical Society has been a tremendous help with National History Day, especially for me as a classroom teacher. Our students gain so much by doing NHD. They learn how to organize thoughts, they learn how to do the research, they learn how to speak with adults about a specific topic. Doing a National History Project really opens the doors and lets you see how history is important in your life and the lives of others. If you're looking for uh, your roots in genealogy, for example, uh, we can uh, help you as, as well or better than any other place in the country. I was curious about where my great-grandfather had walked in the Civil War. So I started to plot out a, a course and I came back here to the historical archives and I said to whoever was working, I said, here's my, my dilemma or my quest and I'd like some help with it. I found out how tall he was, his color of eyes. He was even shorter than I am, I'm only 5'6". Uh, we found out, uh, you know, the physical characteristics that we really didn't know, uh, being a generation removed from our parents. 
it was just wonderful. I got to hold these books in my hands and perhaps my great-grandfather and great-great-uncle had touched these books and I was just amazed by that. Our job is just to help you connect to the past, whoever you are and whatever your interests are. Well, what I want people to know about the Wisconsin Historical Society is first and foremost that we are so fortunate to have one. We are fortunate to have an organization that is staffed with people who are passionate about history, have made it their career, have made it their focus in terms of educating themselves and their passion on moving it forward. So I think in that, our state is unique. We hope uh, in this century and beyond that we have a population that uh, is able to understand its heritage uh, and to use that to evaluate uh, its choices in community and in family and to pass that heritage uh, on to others in the future. These are the lives that we live and a hundred years from now there's going to be other generations of people that want to know who we were so they can figure out who they are and so you know that's that's why I think this place is, is such a treasure. So history is uh, what uh, makes us who we are in the end. It's what makes coming home coming home. <laughs>